You said you could give me some. I don't have any. You didn't give me any. The rest of that is basically mine now. No, it isn't. Here. Happy anniversary! My piece is this small. She's been she eating half the cake. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> day one for us in Fredericksburg. It's very windy. It's also very rainy. Unfortunately, we have rain we're the also, whole time we're going to be here. We're also walking in the street. There aren't any sidewalks on our street. We are on our way to kind of the downtown area. There's like a big strip of stores, like their big main street. Um, but we're waiting to cross the street. There's no sidewalks here. No. So. It's also our first time really taking this kind of a vlogging equipment into town. Yeah, it was our original plan, and then we ended up doing state parks instead. So this will be a fun new experience. Here we go. It's happening. We're walking. You'll constantly see this. I leave Lydia behind a lot. Always. <laughs> so we're going to go downtown and see if there's anything cool. There's a couple of museums that we might stop into. I don't know. It's also very... We're still with all the COVID stuff yeah. going on. We don't know what we'll be allowed to do or what we can do. So we'll see. We brought masks. Yesterday it looked very crowded everywhere, which... It's spring break, so... Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to stay down here much at all. We'll just go see what it looks like. But hopefully we'll get some shots of some cool buildings. Yeah. Because there are some cool buildings. So it's raining which is a disappointment. So we decided to come to the Pioneer Museum so that we could at least be inside. They have a bunch of buildings. These are like all the different buildings that they have. It's a lot. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find out. are about to watch the little intro video that kind of gives the history of the place. It'll come on in three minutes. It just ended. More than 170 years ago, the spot trigger city was a wilderness valley inhabited by bears, panthers, and rattlesnakes. It was a forest. We just finished watching the little introductory movie that they show every 15 minutes. It's a little 12 minute film that gives you the history of how Fredericksburg was started. And basically, it was there, a mess. Yeah. <laughs> basically there was a German uh, group of people that I believe they were nobles that they decided- They called themselves like the noble society. Yeah. And they decided that they were going to have a bunch of Germans come to America. So they bought a big swath of land. They sent a bunch of Americans to America. This is a very quick version of this. They sent a, a bunch, bunch of, of Germans. Germans to America those Germans got to our shores here in Texas and there were no wagons to take them to their land, no supplies, nothing that they were promised. Because the American-Mexican War had just started? Yes, because the... Uh, so the, the basically the army conscripted all of the wagons everywhere and, and took them all. And so they were stuck uh, kind of at yep. the... Uh, uh, Indianola. They sent one guy who was supposed to come and fix this mess because with all these people from Germany just kind of waiting around and dying, unfortunately. Yeah. He went to look at the place and saw that it was not fertile and there were, it was all kinds of Native Americans were around, so he decided that it wasn't good for him to bring a bunch of Germans there. And he instead arranged for them to buy the actual property around Fredericksburg and uh, they bought it and he moved 150. They, they all went to New Braunfels and then from New Braunfels he was like who wants to go so they took 120 people from New Braunfels and moved them to Fredericksburg to start this town and that's what they have now. That's how it got started.
We just wrapped up the Pioneer Museum, and all in all, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of a lot of things to see. Yeah, tons of history packed into all these little buildings. I think one of the coolest ones is the I don't remember the name of the family that lived in it. I'll put it in somewhere here, but it was like it's in its original spot, and they opened the front of their house as a storefront yeah. to like sell goods out of. It was just really cool that it's right where it's always been. If you're into to, to historical houses and kind of seeing how people lived back in the day, I would definitely check this place it's been out. Really cool. I also think the Sunday houses are really cool. They're just these tiny little houses um, that you came to on the weekends, basically, or if you had a doctor's appointment in town. It was for people that didn't live in town. They had farms outside of town, and the weekends they'd come in for church and school functions and, and things it, like that. And who wouldn't like that? Live in the yeah. country and then have a place in town that you just come into on the weekends. It's a really cool little place. So definitely check it out if you get the chance. The building behind me is a library and I 100% want to live in it. Update. We just got back to the Airbnb. Uh, we decided to come back and have lunch here because it is really crowded out there and we don't want to have lunch surrounded by a bunch of people. It's a uh, spring break and it's Saturday, so yeah. it's just super busy. It's packed. And not to mention the rain is kind of on and off. So the weather's interesting. It's it's not raining enough to be irritating. It's 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 like not raining and just it just sprinkles spin. enough that I like have to cut the camera off and put everything away yeah. and then it stops maybe a minute later and I gotta get everything out again. So 
It's also very windy, which has made some of the and made the gimbal react weird. Made my hair do this weird flippy thing that I don't like, but I can't fix it. I don't know. It's just really windy out there. There's a lot of people. So we've decided all the things that we don't want. Yeah. So we so, just decided to come back and have lunch here. Other than that, we made a reservation. Yeah, we bought tickets for the Admiral Nimitz Museum, which is down on the other end of town. It's a big World War II museum, which I am super excited and, about. And Lydia apparently has been there when she was tiny. She doesn't remember I any of it. Remember. I only remember, like, there's some planes out back. Those I remember, but I don't remember anything else. But apparently it's very large. Yeah. We're also fairly certain they don't allow us to film inside. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, then we'll probably just give y'all an update about what it was like and so Yeah, we'll tell you guys how it was and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, for now we're just going to chill. I think I'm going to take a nap. We have like an hour before we need to go, so we'll see you at the museum. We can film in the museum, so we'll take you around for a tour. It mainly focuses on General Nimitz. Um, this building was originally his family's hotel. He was an amazing guy. If you're here, come check it out. It's way too much to talk about right now. Let's go look around. Chester himself was born across Main Street from the building in 1885. His father, who had suffered poor health for years, died six months before Chester was born. The infant and his widowed mother moved into the hotel where Grandpa Nimitz acted as a father figure. steel embargoes on Japan. This put Japan on a collision course with the United States that erupted into total war on December 7th, 1941, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, then the Philippines, and Guam. The next day, the Congress of the United States declared war on the Empire of Japan. Two days later, Germany and Italy declared war on the United States, which now found itself at war on two fronts. President Roosevelt advocated a Europe-first strategy focused on defeating Nazi Germany and Italy as quickly as possible. Though the war in the Pacific would not wait, the bulk of available supplies and manpower were directed to the conflict in Europe. War in the Pacific would have to be waged initially with what power the U.S. already had in place.
The museum was awesome. If you are even remotely interested in World War II, especially the Pacific Theater, then the Admiral Nimitz Museum is for you. It's set up into like two different sections. There's the, the, the in the main like big white hotel looking part is the part about Admiral Nimitz. And he seems like a really good guy. Yeah, he's just a genuinely like sincere he's good a, person. He seemed like a true leader, not mm -hmm. like one of those, you know, over the top guys. So. Yeah. Cared more about everyone else than himself. Yeah. Very, very much. Um, and then the other part of the museum is massive. And I mean huge. We only had two hours there and we were rushing to get through it all. And like like literally just skipping swaths of things to and we at. caught we caught a decent amount of it on film, but it was there's so many big so it's so much, much reading and so there's much. there's so much information. It's like if you're really into it, I would suggest getting there in the morning because there's a good chance You'll that you could stay all day. All she would day. she would stay all day there. Yeah, I was telling there. Billy when we were done, I wish we'd have gotten there maybe at two o'clock so I could have had an extra hour and we could have taken our time. But I'm glad that we didn't go at eleven because then we'd be getting out now at five o'clock. I could have easily spent all day there. It was really really cool. The people like I were said. very nice, very mm -hmm. uh, very informative. helpful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if Do you it. if you like World War II or you're interested in the Pacific Theater of World War II, definitely go check it out. Mm. Update. Our wedding cake is delicious. Um, it really is. It's the same type that we got from before, and uh, you guys can't taste it. And for that, I feel sorry for you. It's the most delicious lemon cake on the face of the planet. It's so good. Anyways, we drove out to try to get a time lapse of the sunset but unfortunately there is like zero there was one good place places. that we wanted to go that was like a wildflower place but here in texas we had that snow uh randomly that was a you know, once in a hundred year type thing and we're, we haven't seen any wildflowers so we just kind of drove out there to see if like there are any wildflowers and there are none no. so we we're hoping to go there and film it but it just didn't work out. So instead we just enjoyed the sunset on our drive back into town and then um, there's a section of the museum, the Pacific War Museum that we didn't go to because it's like three blocks down the road and I didn't realize it so we missed out on that but it's like an outdoor area that has like all kinds of planes and stuff. So we drove around that. There's also a really beautiful cemetery right behind that and we drove through that and looked around. It was really pretty. And then we decided to come back. So now, because we totally forgot about it last night, we're going to open our wedding wine <laughs> and enjoy that in the hot tub before the thunderstorms blow in. They are on their way. I think that's why it's been so windy. Yeah. The, believe it or not, the wind has picked up even more now. <laughs> so that's coming. So we'll go enjoy the hot tub before the rain starts. <laughs> but in all, it's a great first day in Fredericksburg. Yeah, beautiful place, nice people definitely come and I'll put in the links to the places that we've been to today their TripAdvisor links we are part of the affiliate program and all that means is when you click on that link and then if you book something through TripAdvisor whether it be a hotel or B&B &B or tickets to go to anything we get that cheddar yeah we get like a little percentage of that it doesn't cost you any extra but legally we have to tell you about it so that's what those are I'll put them in there. Definitely go check them out if you get the chance to come to Fredericksburg. I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow, so hopefully we can find something cool to do then if it's not rainy all day. Also, uh, guys, do us a favor. Like this video, comment, subscribe, Please. follow us on all the social medias. We're mostly active on Instagram and TikTok. Although I do forget about TikTok. I didn't do any of that today, so... 50-50 on mostly, the TikTok. Mostly yeah, active, but I, so. I do try to stay up to date on the Instagram page and that kind of thing. And check out our website if you want to see our past travels. We're currently going through our 2017 Scotland trip. So that's fun. We post every Tuesday. <sighs> I think that's all the advertising we can do for the night. We'll see y'all hopefully tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I haven't, I didn't see any, like, <sighs> it's made me so nervous. Stop aiming at her face. I'm not doing, I'm not, I haven't even started yet. I know, I just have this innate fear that it's just gonna like explode without me knowing it's coming. Do you, seriously, do you want a towel? <laughs> I wanna watch this thing flat. There's a ton of like, we don't live here. Oh my god. It's, it's torture for me. <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> it's like, it hasn't even moved I yet. I know, I know. Do you want a towel? No. Okay. Please.
Don't let it fly. I don't want to. Please don't. I don't want it to break anything. If we we're, break one of these lights... We're not going to suck it up anything. It's going to off the roof. It hit me. What if it hits the camera? Please, God. Just do it. Put it on my Ooh, it's moving. Oh, my God. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> it's so scary. It's such a build-up. <laughs> Aim away oh, from me. Shit. Ah! Okay, we're good. I hope this still tastes good. That's what I was literally just saying that we should try that before we pour it in. I was like, it smells okay. Yeah, give it a sip. Oh. Still good. Oh my god, it's so yummy. If you're looking for a really good Moscato rose. This brand is really tasty. Super yummy. Okay. Swimsuit time. Mia Bella. <laughs>